Okay. Paddle upstream, I'll come and join you shortly. Yeah, once again it's windy today and as soon as we come away from that lee shore it just chops up a bit so we're going to go up the lee shore where it'll just be a more comfortable jobby about 20 miles an hour today the wind but at least there's glimpses of blue sky And a hint of sun. Yeah, I'll have to wait till another day when it's less windy. Or the wind's coming from the east and then we'll skirt the slag bank shore. The sand dunes look like they've caught the sun a bit as well. Look a bit more enticing. They did the last time and I've got an experimental camera rig on the bow which if it works out I'll attach a camera to later so I've built up my confidence in it oh it's uh, Friday today high water is about the same as it was the last time 8.7 meters at 13.40 and what's the time now? my watch is an hour behind time because I didn't swap for British summer time so really that's 11.53 current time now I'm still catching the wind here quite strong It will be in the uh, the calm zone now. I expect Got a seagull coming over, an albatross, two of them. Calm waters. Sorry? Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, this is idyllic here. It's still waters in the lee of these hedges. Are you enjoying it, Poppet? Yeah. Nice to have the sun on our backs, isn't it? And look, we've got an island today, an island. on your starboard bow, yeah, that covers with water later, but at the moment it's a secret island, and I think there might be treasure, let's go have a look, and there might be some rum and backy, uh, no, 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 do you see it, this island? We had our lunch there, we'd be chased off by the water in about 20 minutes. Oh, <laughs> well, it might be half an hour or something, you know, but that'll cover up. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Like semi-sunshine. Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? So, c c come in shore a little bit. But the closer we are to that shore, just for the, the slightly better it'll be. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? It was just a bit blowy on the way back when I was... 
when I came back it the wind was coming right towards me. Yes. That's why I took the sort of diagonal across. So you can't even go in the little creek today. Not yet. Not yet. No. Yet. That's right. It's an idea of some of the little creeks and ginnels which when the water's high you can paddle up them as we did on the last occasion we were here. And much of this was completely underwater, you could just skim across most of it. <sighs> Wind soon knocks you off though, if you stop paddling you soon start drifting away from that bank. Camphor or samphor, like a salty weed that you can eat or pay lots for in fancy restaurants. I say camphor and samphor because in different districts colloquially colloquial modification seems to change the name of it from camphor with a C to samphor with an S. At least that's what I remember from East Anglia. This will be that big wide broad creek or inlet which goes up to ship up to the shipwreck we saw. Shipwreck, you know, the, the boat sunk at the end of the little creek. The Mary Rose. Just gonna lurk under this little cliff for a minute and take the wind off and have a vape. I just had a big fish or a flounder or something jumping in front of me. I didn't have the camera on. Ah. Ah. Oh, I've got some water on me vapour. How is it? Yeah, have a sip. You'll soon... I'm just going to have a sip myself. You'll soon float off as the, as the water comes up and lifts you. Yeah. myself in a bit. 
ya. I can still hear the sea lashing the coast of Walney on the other side. Well, if I turn off the camera, there'll be a big fish leaping. Yeah, you can't keep it running all the time, can you? So, I'll take my chance, I'll switch it off for a wee bit. Here we are, Botany Bay. There's Lousy Point there with the little huts. And we've left the uh, slag bank behind. And we're hugging the lee shore because Oh, look at that heron! A flamingo! Wah! Good job I had my camera on. It's alright mate, we'll just go on by. And we're hugging the lee shore because there's 20 mile an hour westerly wind today which will fetch up a bit of a chop the further out into the fetch you go so you can see here like it's just placid a little bit further out a bit more royals cat's paws and then further out still you just get a waveform so just snugging on the lee shore gives you the, the calmest water for the job which just makes for easier paddling and stuff. And the tide is still on the make. And probably so for another two hours. Let me watch for a bit. I just want a fish to roil up underneath. While I've got the camera going, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Because the tide is rising, the current is notionally with us. Well, it would be if we were out in midstream. Here, there is little current to speak of, but it's not fighting against us, whatever it is, anyway. Oh, look. You see the little bud? Hiya, mate. Oh, sweet. Oh! <laughs> A oyster catcher or something, or I don't know. Had a long beak, didn't it? So I'm pretty sure I can see the sea lashing the seaward shore of Walney. You can actually hear the wave action, you know, be white, white horses. But here, you just see the water, it's like a canal, just, just in short of a, to this little. Uh, coastline and then further out it gets more roily. And this is the sort of stuff that we were paddling over the last time. Sort of, I don't know what the plant is. Some sort of marsh plant which doesn't mind immersion. Oh actually it's camphor again isn't it? You see that? Or the samphor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perhaps there was plenty more of it but that's that's one. I think that's a separate plant to what I'm holding here. Mm. There's, there's a single strand of sapphire. Yeah. And there is a bit of blue in the sky, but there's also some clouds. But it's not a bad day, is it? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you leaving me? Try and have a quick swig before I drift off too far. Look at the rate of departure, that's just wind pressure.
windage. This will pretty much soon be a wash, all of this. And then the lee shore will be somewhere over there. flowing into that one, you could see it creeping ahead, creeping along. Yeah, it's about another hour to go before high water. Although it looks like the water's coming out, it's actually just the wind blowing down that little ginnel. Giving the appearance of outflow. And I think we're going to get over to that dunes beach and have lunch over there. of birds. Ah, oh, it's hard work working your way to windward. This wind in our face. See where we are. Keep fighting till you get aground. You stop paddling, you start going backwards, don't you? It's hot. There's a helicopter up there anyway. Oh, it's blessed wind. Almost tends you fast. Rate right, your progress a little. Pedalling into a headwind, you know, it's just hard work, isn't it? Pedalling and paddling. Flip. How pop it's doing. I can see her in the corner of the eye. Ah, she's battling. Take some combating this. This wind pressure, 20 miles an hour I'm guessing, maybe 25, just makes progress heavy going. Oh. I'll just notch up here and wait for Poppet. Phew. 
That was hard work. As a plane just taking off for a running up for a takeoff into into the wind, of course, to windward. There she goes, aeroplane. Oh, still hints of blue sky, but also some clouds. I hope we have a sunny lunch. And it's reasonable at the moment, a shadow. So I think it's about three kilometres from North Scale to these dunes. See, there's a bit of fetch going on. They've got a wave form developing here. Take them about 45 degrees on, if possible, so it doesn't get all tilty. Yeah, and you need 100 metres of open water, and you start getting a wave form in this breeze. And then the fetch diminishes, and the wave form drops off we're past the, the long fetch. <laughs> have a rest, Poppet. Stop there, I'll have a rest with you. We're nearly there, Nu. Stay there, stay there. Oh, you're notching on better. Nearly there. Hear the sea. Watch the waves, because obviously. Oh yeah. You're not. You know, if you're right, not the right way. Yeah. When when you come to a bit like that, take take the the wave. The waves are coming that way. Take yeah. them 45 degrees on. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Or if you ever see a really big wave, point it more bow on to it. So you. Yeah, that's do that. what I did back there, because there was a couple of big ones. There was, yeah. Yeah, that's far better than taking it broadside on and getting all that's what I mean. tippy whippy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go in again. I'll hug this shoreline, we'll just get over there to the the beach. I wonder if uh, Leonardo Di Cappuccino will be there on the beach. I don't know. You know the film? Yeah. <laughs> the Forbidden Beach. The Coral Reef. <laughs> yes. And get a good charge up at that lot because we'll have to drag the canoe up to above the tide line as we sit in there. There's a bit of drag on the hull with these, yeah. this foliage, isn't there? I know, even with the paddles it's a bit off, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if this will work for us. If it's out of welly depth, even up here, then we'll have to go the other side of that fence and round onto the sands. Let's see what it's like. soon run out of gump. Oh look, can you see that? It's not very deep, but of course you do have to do the old paddle trick as you step out. Yeah. So you're not, uh... okay. I'm just gonna kick myself on, see what I'm doing. Just yeah. using it as a prop to notch me in good. I'm just going to drag my canoe over to yours so it doesn't uh, go where you are while I'm helping you. Ooh. Okay, grab your pole. You got it? Yeah, got it. 
Okay. That's it. Right. I just flipped that. Okay. Just drag it across. Yeah. Right, Use your pole as a testing stick ahead. If you want. It's going to be final, this is good. Let's go and have some lunch. Oh look, we've already got water creeping in here, look. Should we pull the box up a little bit? Um, yeah, we might do, but we can do that in a second or, or in ten minutes' time. All, all, the, all that coastline that we cruised around is now submerged, gone. Yeah. So where are we now? Why no? So we've got another 40 minutes of incoming. Yeah. Yeah. All that coastline we just followed around is now submerged. We've only been here five minutes and here's a little uh, feeder of tide coming in got another 40 minutes yet of incoming you can see the damp line from last night's tide huge expanse of the North Channel. Like I say, five minutes ago, half of that was uh, a coastline, to, so to speak. So here we are, near, near the top of the tide. The water's just creeping up, but it's only got 15 or 20 minutes to go, so the canoes might actually be okay sat where they are. It's a bit windy, so I do apologise for the audio. We've just had some sandwiches. Poppet, how was your sandwiches? A bit crunchy. A bit crunchy, because the it's wind sandwich. is that strong, it's blowing little billows of sand along as you eat your sandwich. And on the far side of the upper channel, I believe at times I've seen little white horse waves because over there it's got a big long fetch, you know. Oh, what was that? Bird, bird diving. About three kilometres from uh, North Scale by the sea. So we paddled three kilometres, but probably a bit further because we've been hugging, hugging the coastline to keep out of the blessed wind. Anyway, it's a good beach and it's a worthwhile voyage on a less windy day. It'll make it easier to get here and a less gritty sandwich when you have your picnic. <laughs> so there's the channel. We've just seen high water and it's just beginning to back off a little bit. There's our canoes. They're safe now because the water's just hit its hit its peak. What's that over there? Just wondering if that's that black thing. I wonder if it's a whale or a. Yeah. 
Or it might just be a bit of boat wreckage. Maybe we shall go and investigate that. Just to see. Yes, yeah, so there's lovely little little plants here amongst these Walney North End dunes. I mean, aren't they bonny? That's that one. Very nice. Beautiful. Little sand flies. Timbering or something like that, it's just got iron work on it. It'll have come from uh, Ramsden Key or somewhere like that, or maybe even from Peel. <coughs> Row Island, I mean. And there's Walney Bridge, perhaps four kilometres away. And that's what it's doing out to sea while well, we've been travelling upstream in relative calm waters because of the shelter of Walney Island itself. There's some good roll, roiling waves coming in there and some significant swells down here in Scarf Hole. Looking over to Hod Barrow at the moment Closer by is Roanhead, Roanhead Point. Oh, just getting a little bit of view of Lousy Point, the, the huts there. Yeah, just behind those dunes. Phew. Yeah, it's rumbustious out at sea, isn't it? Holy moly. I thought I could hear the sea lashing the coast on the other side of the island and that's why thumping great white horses Yeah, it's coming into land. Touchdown. of the waters on the inland sheltered side. Big difference. So when we landed here the water was a bit close to the beach and of course we had to drag it up to a above where the high tide was going to be while we ate our sandwiches. <laughs> and when you get here, just wait till I'm gone, use this little bay do the old paddle thing, yep. like it's a prop, yep. shake a foot, whack it in, and then shake the other foot, and then... So just get it enough in the water that you know you're going to float off.
and then push with a paddle or grab some grass or whatever you need to do to just Okay. Yeah. Or cut across. There. Yep. Right across the middle, sort of thing. Yeah? Yes. If it'll let us. If not, we'll have to back off and go further round. Come, come to the left a little bit here. Ah. It'll get shallow. So the tide's falling at the moment and in 10 minutes, say, this, this bank will be dry. We're just seeing if we can get across. Yes. Okay. These birds will fly up in a second. Chasing them along the shoreline, I think. It's now ten minutes past three. Right. So it's an hour past. An hour and a half past high water on an eight point seven tide. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> it needed wetting, did it? After the tide had left it. Even that little girl there, it was only 
probably about that wide. Yes. That gust of wind coming through, didn't you? Yeah. We must be close to land, it's an albatross. Must be close. <laughs> yeah. Got a bit of an open creek coming up. Just skip across. There's a big heron up there, you can see. Just up that little creek. Looks like quite a big bird anyway. Maybe it's just a seagull. mother and baby seagull 
which we saw on the way up. Mum's still looking after her offspring. Okay, pop it. I got stuck on the sandbank. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Huh? And then it was obviously. <laughs> I see, so you were paddling for five minutes and thought, this is going slowly. <laughs> Not getting any bloody wear. And then it was quite windy, wasn't it? Yeah. I know, but every time I was going in shore, that's why I was getting too far, too close to the sandbank, so that's when I got. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. moved well, out of it. Yeah. Fair dues. Well, you've got the formu Formula One paddle anyway to get you out of it. <laughs> the magic paddle. <coughs> Just about, God. It is rather, isn't it? This high wind. wind. Yeah. I like to say the current's moving up channel as well. Yeah, don't linger too long because the water's draining away as we speak. Uh, just uh, after two hours, uh, just over two hours past high water on an 8.7. Oh, no, a bit choppy, just coming up where it's back in the wind. There was a, a leaping fish. I've been hoping to catch one of those on camera because often I turn it off and then I have one. There we go. Just wait a minute and the water will drip away. Phew. Ah, yes. Looks nice, doesn't it, up the dunes? Oh, what is it now? It's now two hours and twenty minutes past high water. Here comes another plane skirting over the slag banks.
airplane coming into land. Oh, it's crashed into a bush. <laughs> Look how the water's gone down now. Just in minutes. That's it, get your third leg out. <laughs> That's a girl. Phew. Yikes! <laughs> okay, we'll lift it over that chain. Good trip. Yeah. All right, do you all get the front or the back? Uh, the back. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, we'll just lift it ashore and then we'll do mine. Yeah. All set. Okay, you keep pushing, keep pushing, and slivering it in. Okay. All right. And we drag it across the grass, and it will polish the bottom Ooh. as we go. All right, we'll carry them from here. So. Keep going then, and I'll pick up the back. Okay, watch out for doggy doos, but past the other up and down here. 